So this chapter is really about setting the stage. And for those of you that that uh, that know me pretty well, you know that I'm going to start with the elephant and the writer. Uh, so just to kind of connect back to the elephant and the writer, it just helps us conceptually set our minds to how we enter our worlds as leaders in our organizations. Jonathan Haidt did research years ago that talked about the emotional side of an organization and the rational side. And the and then the, um, the Heath brothers wrote a book called Switch, which is a, a pretty well-known book that some of you might have read that reintroduced the elephant and the writer. And when you think about the elephant and the writer, the elephant and the writer are traveling down a path and the writer represents the rational side of the organization and the, rep, the, uh, the elephant represents the emotional side. And so in order for the writer and the elephant to travel down that path together and to be able to adjust and have agility when needed, then they have to be in sync with each other. And if they're not in sync with each other, I always ask the question, who's gonna win? The elephant or the writer? And of course, we all say the elephant is gonna win. So what that tells us is that if we not if we're not in tune to the elephant um, and in in part in the emotional side of our organization, it's really difficult to move down that path. And if you've worked with us for quite some time, you know that they're both important, but it's very difficult. Most of us tend to think in terms of strategically where are we going? What are the results we're trying to achieve? How do we do the specific things that we need to do every day in order to achieve those results? And what we're really focusing here in People First is it's the people who help us get there. And that's the emotional side of the organization. And without really taking care of the people and helping people have a connection to their work, it's very difficult to travel that path together. So as we think about people first and our standards of excellence, our standards define what's important to us. Our people help us define those standards. As we begin to build the strategic direction of our organization and continuously focus on ways that we improve each and every day, improve ourselves, improve who we are as a team, improve, as well as improve the results of the organization. That's the setting of the stage of commit to excellence. Without committing to those things, it's very difficult to move our organization forward.